The Dutch cycled more in 2021 than in 2020, but still not as much as before the pandemic in 2019. They cycled 15.8 billion kilometers in 2021, the last year for which official figures are available, or 972 kilometers per person. This was 4% more than the year before, but 11% less than in 2019. For all modalities combined, the Dutch traveled 23% less distance than pre-COVID. Cycling was less affected by the pandemic than other modes of travel. Public transport especially suffered more than private modes. That resulted in the Dutch cycling 6.2 billion kilometers more than the distance of all train journeys combined. Let's dive into the latest figures and facts for the Netherlands. Who cycles? Where? Where to? How often? How far? And for what reasons? 7 out of 10 people in the Netherlands say they cycle at least one day per week. Women cycle more than men, and children cycle more than adults. Women use the bicycle for 29% of their journeys. It is 27% for men, and 48% for children under the age of 18. Thanks to riding to school, sports clubs and other destinations, children in the Netherlands cycle almost 7 times a week on average, for a distance of 22 kilometers. The share of cycling is growing among people with a non-Western migration background. Although this is still lower than that of the other Dutch people, the difference is getting smaller. People with a healthy weight cycle significantly more often and further than people who are overweight or obese. Cycling is more popular in urban areas than in the countryside. This is partly due to the distances being smaller and the fact that there are more destinations in more densely populated areas. In the four largest cities of the country, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, The Hague and Utrecht, the share of cycling is increasing. Most so in Utrecht, where people choose the bicycle for 48% of their journeys, while in Rotterdam that figure is only 27%. In the smaller cities, people cycle most often in Leiden, Zwolle, and Groningen. More than half of the journeys within these municipalities are made by bicycle. When the Dutch are asked why they cycle, the reasons mentioned most often are health, how easy cycling is, and that it is good for the environment. But people also mention how easy it is to park a bicycle, how cheap cycling is, and that it is faster than other ways to travel. Only 6% says they do not have another way to travel. The Dutch do not cycle out of necessity. The weather influences the choice to take a bicycle, but not by much. Only 3 out of 10 people say they cycle less in bad weather. The Dutch prefer the bicycle over other modalities. 96% is satisfied with cycling in their country compared to 85% who are happy with the car. Public transport is satisfactory for 67% of the Dutch. When asked to rate aspects of cycling, such as ease of use, attractiveness of routes, average speed, comfort, social safety and traffic safety, the rates range from 7.1 to 7.9 on a scale from 1 to 10 with traffic safety scoring lowest and ease of use scoring highest. About 27% of the working population uses the bicycle for their commute. This share is higher for people who live closer to their workplace. 55% of workers who live within 5 km of their work go there by bicycle. When the distance is between 5 and 10 km, that is 31%, and when it is between 10 and 15 kilometers, the figure is 14%. People who cycle weekly say they use the bicycle most for daily errands, 23%, recreational cycle tours, 19%, and going to work, 15%. For longer distances, the bicycle-train combination is unbeatable in the Netherlands. In the major cities, 6 out of 10 people taking the train arrived at the station by bicycle. 
For the entire nation, that figure is almost 50%. At the other end of their journey, 10% of the train travelers use a bicycle to get from the train to their end destination. Either their own bicycle parked at the station there, or an OV Fiets of the nationwide Dutch shared bicycle system. The peak in bicycle use is during the morning rush hour on a weekday. Between 8 and 8.30, the majority of all people cycling is then on their way to a place for education, 60%, or work, 21%. There are also negative aspects to cycling. In 2021, 735,000 bicycles were stolen, over 2,000 per day. 15% of those bicycles were e-bikes. While cycling is not dangerous, the simple fact that the Dutch cycle so often and so far does unfortunately result in death and injuries. Traffic deaths for drivers and their passengers have been decreasing in the last two decades. But for cycling that number has been somewhat steady, at about 200 per year. It is not expected to decrease much, also because almost three quarters of the killed cyclists and almost half of the injured are over the age of 60. This age group cycles more often and further and the group is increasing. Their risk is much higher. For the over 80s, the risk of death and injury is about 50 times as high as for the under 60s. The Dutch try to decrease these figures by creating a better environment for cycling. Better protected from motor traffic, because 75% of the cyclists were killed in collisions with motor traffic, and with fewer bollards and curbs, which cause falls. Helmets are not considered in the Netherlands. The Dutch understand well that wearing a helmet won't make cycling safer. When the cyclists' union asked their members if they were in favour of a helmet obligation, an overwhelming majority of 80% said no. The Dutch government has announced to invest much more money in cycling. Many more trips could be taken by bicycle, even in the Netherlands. Almost half of all car journeys, 47%, are under 7.5 kilometres while 64% is shorter than 15 kilometers, a distance you could easily cycle, especially on an e-bike. An investment of 1.1 billion euros should make people change their behavior. The goal is to get 100,000 people extra on the bicycle in the next two and a half years. The money from the national and local governments will be used to remove barriers improved routes to get from A to B quickly, with great separated intersections and better parking facilities, should entice especially drivers to hop on the bicycle even more often. This would be good for society, because people who walk or cycle to work are more often satisfied, less stressed, more relaxed and they experience more freedom than people who get to work by car. Riding a bicycle regularly not only improves physical health, but it is also positively related to mental health and subjective well-being.